this is Tina Vanderwerker with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, and I am here with Kay White from Saratoga Therapeutic Equestrian Program. Hi, Kay. Thank you so much for meeting with me today. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, you're very <laughs> welcome. So tell me a little bit about what you do here. Um, well, we are a very interesting community, and it's a community involving horses and special needs people with volunteers from the surrounding areas. Um, STEP was founded in 1986 as a 501c3 not-for-profit, and our mission, and my mission and vision, is to improve the lives of special needs children and people ages 2 to 100, um, both psychosocially, physically, and emotionally, and also uh, have avenues for educational programs such as humane education and teaching uh, barn management skills and stable management for those that want to get involved with horses. Nice, nice. So you said you've been doing this for a really long time. Kind of what got you started? It's rather interesting. It was a twist of fate that I wound up here um, through Mutual Farrier, which is a blacksmith that told me that there, there was a woman originally that had a farm that was looking to promote a program of therapy using horses. And I happened to need a place to go with my horses. And I had the skills and the ability and the background. So I came and I never left. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, you were showing me a few of the horses. So how yeah. do you acquire the horses that you have here? Um, we acquire horses many different ways. Um, we have those that are donated to us from private individuals that were former show horses or, or good pleasure horses. And then there are horses that we rescue, um, some rescued from slaughter and the racing industry. Okay. Um, other horses, we've never really had to go out and purchase a horse because okay. people have always had a horse that I could find suitable. And having been a trainer and I know how to work with horses, a lot of people know me as the go-to lady with a horse with a problem right. or an aged horse. And I pride myself on being able to give them a third age in purposeful lives. Right, nice, very nice. So what else, you know, are other things that you do that people may not know about for your organization? Uh, we offer a lot of advantages for interns and students to acquire even SUNY credit. Um, okay. we, we partner with Union College, the SUNY schools, Quinnipiac, Russell Sage, RPI, all of the colleges, and we also partner with schools to do uh, honor society projects, obtaining volunteer hours necessary for college. And Broad Alban Perth, we have our wonderful special ed program that was launched in 2021. And the children come from special ed on a Thursday afternoon. And this is where they do their physical education and special education. And it's been a bang up program. We're hoping to incorporate more of the local schools to come and join us and to be able to offer this kind of special activity. Yeah, great. So you were saying, again, earlier when we were talking, is that, so how do kids get um, here in order to do, and you can do a, a bunch of different programs that other equine places can't do. So right. can you talk a little bit more about those? Um, the bulk of the children that do come to us are referred by physicians as a physical therapist and neurophysiologist, which I specialize in movement disorders, brain injury, and spinal mechanics. I'm able to get um, doctors that I've known in the local facility, local area that will refer directly. Word of mouth is big. We belong to many organizations such as AIM and ARC. We partner with just about everyone. We've been here 36 years and I've reached out to a very large community in the Glenville, Scotial, uh, Burn Hills, Boston Lake, Schenectady, um, a large area that we do service. We're a unique service in that we are the only one that can offer PT, speech, OT, uh, utilizing equine movement, which people call hippotherapy uh -huh. in our treatment strategies. Um, there is one other facility, our dear friend Kathy at Nipper Knowles, who's in Granville, who can also offer this service. So we feel that at this point, if you do need these services, this is the place to be. Right. We can also offer skilled acquisition and riding for adaptive riding and therapeutic riding, which a lot of people know as therapeutic riding. We are a PATH facility, all our instructors are certified, 
but that combined with the American Hippotherapy Association, we provide a very unique service because you can start with us in utilizing upon evaluation the needs of equine therapy passively and then going into our copyrighted program, Step Up, which is a bridge between passive riding, skilled acquisition, recreational riding, and hopefully Special Olympics, wow. which we've participated <laughs> in over the years. Okay, that sounds so so many programs uh, that you have. And, and, and it doesn't even it doesn't even speak to our literacy program, Read to Me, Mini Me, and our community involvement with able-bodied children in humane education, which is critical for taking care of these horses and also the fact that we are a safe sport facility, meaning that we look out for our children and when they do come here, they're well taken care of and the HIPAA laws are obeyed to the T here. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, yeah, sounds like you have so much going on. So why Glenville? What made you decide to open up a facility in Glenville? It's rather interesting. I was just talking to someone this morning about my past in very long past when I was young and there was uh, we had a family member that actually was at the uh, Glenville Sanitarium for tuberculosis which actually now is Conifer Park okay. and remember driving out here to visit because you couldn't go in and uh, and just falling in love with the area and then um, there were shopping to do here back then too and it was so nice and it really spoke of a hometown feel. Mm -hmm. There was Little Scotia with its little yes. theater like back in the 50s and the downtown yeah. and then Glenville was still um, very much a community of people who just loved the outdoors and had unique little houses. There were little capes and cottages from World War II and, and then there were beautiful ranches and old farms. And I wound up here because of happenstance. And then I love it. I just love yeah. being here. Yeah. Well, and you were speaking about the other program in Granville, but to have something like this in Glenville, which is so close to Albany, Schenectady, Location, Saratoga. location, location. <laughs> Our volunteers literally can walk from the houses on the other side of us to come. Yeah. Or they could, we've even had people take Ubers from Schenectady, which yeah. is just a hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah. Um, the buses from the schools used to, before COVID, drop off at the foot of the driveway, sure. our um, Honor Society Children in the Give program, which we're hoping that all of this will, it's coming back. Yeah. It's all yeah. coming back. We're, yeah. we're getting it ramped up for the new fall season in school, and yeah. I think it's going to be really neat. But right. uh, Glenville and the surrounding area of Glenville is a wonderful place to be a retiree, a great place to raise a family. My adult children are here with their families. Yeah. And it's just, in five minutes you could be in the country and then in five minutes you could be on Route 50 getting everything you need. Yeah. Shopping and, and eateries and, oh, we got great food here. <laughs> sure do. <laughs> and we have everything. Yeah. We, yeah. Have, we have everything. And I just, I love it here. Yeah. I just love Glenville. Yeah. I love the community. Yes. It speaks of community. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Everybody helps each other. And, yeah. You know, a lot yeah. of the businesses and stuff are, are just amazing. And yeah. And Burn Hills, our other. sister. It's like, you know, I work in Burn Hills on Route 50 at Zupa Physical Therapy. And yeah. it's family. It's, yeah. it's family. It's so exciting to be able to service a community and be able to be so much a part of one. Yeah. And it's not hard to become part of a community here right. because the people at STEP are considered our STEP family, mm -hmm. our STEP family and friends. And um, it's just we, we try to keep promoting that. Yeah. We're not just a business, but we're a business that services a community of friends. Right. So. Right. Friend, in a friendly yeah, time. Somebody oh, that's Gambler! Us. <laughs> Gambler, say hi! <laughs> and here comes another one. Here comes Macho! Not to be, not to be left out. Well, Kay, thank you so much. It was a pleasure speaking with you. How can somebody get in touch with you if they want to either volunteer or just know more about your program? Um, we desperately want help and need help. Um, I'm also looking for people that would like to become involved in, in administrative work and our sustainability, because we'd like to be here another 36 years. Yeah. So they can call us at 
518-374-5116 or go to our website. It's the word step up dash nfec.org and email directly and come and set up a tour. Come and visit us. Come see what it is, what we do. The miracles that you see here are amazing. We see a child walk for the first time here and speak for the first time here. Um, it's been my mission and vision and it's the people, the community that make it happen. And of course, our thousand pound therapists <laughs> that without them, right. this could not happen. Right. So right. I, I can't speak highly enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a great facility and you do wonderful things Thank here. Thank you. So I'm super excited to meet you and, and share you with everybody, all of my viewers and what. So uh, Kay White with Saratoga Therapeutic Equestrian Program. And I am Tina Vanderwerker with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Mm -hmm.